with Naruto Shidupidim, where eventually they changed the name of the... <laughs> Shidupidim. <laughs> How do you properly say it? She put in. <laughs> Shidupidim. Shidupidim. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. Nah, what? I heard. Uh... On to that, we have an interesting rumor that um, our uh, Ataku Vaughn has been uh, been researching. He's being our little uh, news reporter, our t- detective. Uh, and so I'm going to let him tell you this uh, piece that he's been working on. It's about Bleach. So if you're a Bleach fan, you already know we do this every year. <laughs> every year. Is this, is our, one, this is one of our big uh, clickbait uh, what? Uh, videos this week. <laughs> Jump Festa 2020. There is a secret event. Allegedly, it could be the return of Bleach. We we can't confirm yet. We, we can only hope. Why do you think it's going to be Bleach? It, it has to be Bleach. Uh, Taikuba is going to be there. Okay. Um, there's it could a, be Burn the Witch. It could be, but that's a continuation of Bleach. Yeah, but it wouldn't be like the main line. It, it actually is. There are actually different soul societies, which you find out in oh, no. Burn the Witch. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> this is no. Like, but it's not the Bleach that people... It's uh, not a continuation like, of Ichigo. Like, Think of Soul Society East. This is Soul Society West. Uh-huh. Americanized. Oh no! So it could be a crossover. Is 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 same you, universe? You don't want a uh, another Soul Society? Oh, I can't. I couldn't possibly. That's like uh, Kingsman oh. too. When they find out there's an American branch. <laughs> that was actually good. I it like was that. good, but I'm just saying I it's like the that. equivalent of that. Look, okay, it, it's okay. The statesmen, because, yeah, the statesmen, because they're they're the equivalent society, but they aren't the same thing. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's a good example. Yeah, yeah, but no, I'm sorry. Look, Bleach is gone. I'm like, I, I know, I know. Bleach you guys, is not gone. No, Bleach it's is gone. still very popular. The anime comes gone. back. We get the thousand. They were part of the blood the, war. the top three. They were once the amongst the the gods. Yes, See, you okay. want that arc animated. That's the best Bleach ever gets. You know, I watched a video actually today that it was thanks to uh, <clears throat> the uh, Akira uh, Toriyama that uh, the whole reason why Bleach exists because Toriyama um, apparently Kubo um, he uh, sent in a draft to um, to uh, Shonen Jump and they. Uh, they told him they didn't want it. And someone sent the draft over to Toriyama and he liked it. And so he sent uh, a letter over uh, to him and he said, Hey, keep working on this. And of course, Shonen Jump found out. And so he was reworking it and stuff. And it's all because of him why Bleach came to existence. As it is. Yeah. Yep. All right. So listen, listen. Here's my thing, right? <laughs> the only Shonen. That can continue on to this length, seriously. Yeah, is like they they have to be like a DBZ type, and yeah, but they never finished Bleach's story. No, which is true, <clears throat> and it's like Inuyasha. We could be coming back here for a continuation. Yeah, where they would they would explain in the title that it because uh, Inuyasha's was, was what called the final chapter or yeah, something like that. Yeah. Which is fine. I'll accept that. Yeah, but like a. DBZ style continuation, yeah, like super is a continuation. Where it's kind of kinda like a not a rebirth per se, but or, it's well, a, that's Kai is the rebirth. Yeah, but it's but, like they brought it back, right? After like all these reviving years. it, yeah. yeah. Reviving Bleach, no. Yes, no. Sorry, do it. There's only two that have really been able to do it, and they're both DBZ types, and this is Naruto and DBZ. Do it. Well, Bleach Naruto was like openings. a plant evolution thing there wasn't no break like it was with dragon ball z or bleach right but they're still on the same like wavelength right yeah well because of their 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 structure is similar right but bleach has somewhat of a similar structure yeah but not exactly yeah it's just not just the way the story goes the way it's told the way shonen works as a genre now bleach is done. i just want them to finish bleach. the the anime i just want them to finish what was written Look, Already, look, it's so much good stuff when Bleach comes back. Bro. Look, look, it, look. If they want a Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, it, if they want a Inuyasha Final Chapter, it, you got my approval. If they want a DBZ Super, it, no, <laughs> they wouldn't be able to DBZ Super it because they never finished the story. 
they would have to go back and finish the story first. There's a scene <clears throat> in the manga where uh, is this the beginning of war? This is effectively the beginning of war. Uh, Captain Yamamoto unsheaths his sword. As you know in Bleach, he never unsheaths his sword. Because it's the literal sun. It evaporates all moisture in the Soul Society. Nobody can withstand the force of it. He unsheaths his sword and he dies. Okay. He is beheaded. That is the beginning of the war. This is the worst thing about Shonen. I can't. This this is the reason why this genre kills me. I Uh, cannot. You you see uh, that, right? You see that. And it's the hype train to 10,000. What we're about to go is the most epic and amazing part of this story yet. Me, I am exhausted. If I. Because you know it's just going to be a re- it's a cycle at this point, right? For you. But no, no, no. Let, let me let me tell you the moment where Bleach like literally drained my soul from my body, right? It was it was literally Ukiora, mm. U- U- Ukiora uh, evolving for the second time, just drained all the energy out of me. I'm just like, no, okay, we're 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 solid. In a wrong car that can evolve twice, or what is it called, Resurrection or something like that? Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, 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 yeah, yeah, their uh, evolution. I'm just like, no. I cannot go any further, and I continued to watch Bleach, but I was just like, I'm, I'm, I'm out. My investment is gone. The only w- one of the few, <laughs> and that was they- the most, and that was one of the most hype parts well, of all of Bleach. Thing, though, the only way that they could like do a new Bleach is if they focus on uh, Ichigo's kids. <laughs> then, yeah, they barely but then, touch on that. But then we're bored yeah, that would be the best way. Yeah, like but, they yeah, touch but, on it, but it's it's he's so overpowered, it makes no sense. Well, Naruto was extremely overpowered. No, so. no, no. Effectively, it, the main villain for the the war arc, yeah, Ichigo's son absorbs his spiritual oppression at the end of the manga. Oh, really? Like it's nothing. Wow. So his, it's because because you know, uh, like everybody freaks out. They're like, "Oh, Walk's coming back," and Ichigo's son just absorbs his spiritual pressure. Like it's nothing. And wipes it out. But that's oh, that's, that's them. But that's is. but that's oh, them right. rushing. That's him. Them oh. rushing. Uh, yeah, which kite. is which is fine and all. But my point being is, is that this stuff scales infinitely to un unbelievable proportions until we're throwing galaxies at each other, Gurren Logan style. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Like this is the thing. The moment, like Naruto. He should. You should have him read the uh, the Naruto creators' uh, new manga. Then was it Samurai Seven or Samurai Eight? Samurai Eight. Samurai Eight. Yeah. They literally like destroy planets already at the beginning I from the get go. I, I, I cannot. <laughs> really? <laughs> from the get go, Shonen scales to this. But see like, that ridiculous proportion. But that one just just is like okay, we're already at that scale. It's just even worse. How, how can it, you get past that? It's already destroyed shonen, planets, but it's still going to shonen. And we're going to be destroying planets across multiple dimensions. We're going to be destroying entire dimensions uh, in one blow. Please <laughs> come back, man. You don't want to see Eisen fight from a wheelchair. <laughs> they they uh they lock Eisen up, right? You you see what Eisen does in the anime? Yeah, he's a they like yeah. Eisen up, and they're like they're in the middle of the war. And it's so bad that they're like... They ask him to help? Just unlock Aizen. And they're like, you sure you want to unlock Aizen? And I think it was uh, the dude with the... Um, uh, I forgot his name. It was the the guy that was like right underneath the head captain with the pink robe. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. He's like... He's effectively in charge because, you know, head captain dies. So he's like... Spoilers. I'm going to just unlock Aizen. Aizen can take care of it. He can help us. He goes on like Eisen. Eisen unlocks itself. He's like, why'd you come here? They're like, we need your help. So they strap him to a chair. He allows them to strap them to a chair. And they seal off everything except for one eye, an ankle, and a hand. Oh, dear Lord. He fights with one eye, an ankle, and a hand. And an effectively ankle? kills people. Yes. Not a foot. Not a toe. How's that it's work? An ankle. ankle? What's he do like so this? I mean, no. I know you can see it my ankle right now. Powerful. It, it makes no sense, but eyes right. is broken. That's no, ridiculous. No, 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 no. See, see, here's the thing, right? The power scaling in Shonen fundamentally destroys the universe. And I mean, like, the universe as a narrative. Because what happens here is that you reach such a point in which it, it's it's beyond the comprehension of what the story started as. So let's go look back this at this again, right? Okay. So in Bleach. What was the core problem at the beginning of Bleach? Hollows, right? Which were just masses of negative spiritual energy that yeah. could potentially cause real damage to the real world. Okay? Yeah. Respectable. 
Okay, we go past that. Okay, so in the Soul Society, the foundational organization meant to handle the hollow threat as well as help the real world sustain itself by processing dead souls, preventing hollowfication, all this infrastructure that's hiding behind the scenes that keeps Earth functioning, right? Yeah. In that Soul Society, there's this really giant weapon, which as we all know is within Rukia or is accessible via Rukia, yeah. which is fine. Okay, so that right there was already a the equivalent of a nuke. Yeah. Right? Just running around, there's a nuke out there. We need to stop it. And we spent a lot of time dedicated towards the prevention of and the failure to prevent that nuke coming into play, Eisen. Because that's yes. what happens. The nuke comes into play. Okay. Reasonable. All that's fine. All that doesn't shatter the world around itself. Okay. But then they start to reveal... What some of the people who've already existed, they've always been in here, like Captain Yonamoto, right? He's literally been there since day one. Even though we never knew who he was, he's in the history of the show. Right. So before the show starts, he's an established character. He's yeah. a part of the world. And he already represents the equivalent of that nuke. Yeah. He, he, he is no different than the nuke. Him going off is no different than Eisen going off. It will destroy Soul Society. It will destroy Earth. Yeah. Okay, so we're there. Right, so even if you want to say that, so how do you go beyond a nuke? Well, but that's my point, though. Yeah. Is that we've established two of the highest power points in the world long before the story ever started. Right, and we understood that Eisen had to go through a long, arduous process to get the power he was actually looking for. Yeah. And Yamamoto's old as dirt, yep. so it's like a prehistoric monster, like a dinosaur fighting a lion. We understand that Yamamoto is unreasonably powerful. So here we are. In the new world, as we continue this story on, and then the two caps for power level yeah. have been surpassed. Because Aizen's stronger than he used to be, right? despite being locked up in jail for all this time, and Yamamoto got warped. Yep. So these things didn't just uh, pop out of nowhere, because yeah. any good story tells you that the big bad has, has to have a backstory. Existed, yeah. yeah, it has to have a backstory, it has to have exist. The world would not even begin to function at the power levels we're dealing Did, with. Wasn't this one of the things that Eisen teased, like, way earlier in the series? Oh, yeah. The whole like, thing hinted was, towards. It, it yeah. was his idea. The yeah. whole thing. Yeah. So, like, he basically tells Ichigo, your life was planned by me so that I could fight you at full power to show how powerful I am. Right. Okay, so cool. Let me understand here. That Eisen logic. Right, right. But but this this is the what this is the narrative equivalent of. You ever play rock, paper, scissors, right? Yeah. And you're playing with that one person who you know you hate inside of your soul who goes yeah. rock, paper, nuke. Yeah. Where's nuke in the game? Right. Where, that's not how this works. Right. But a nuke is better than any of those three, so it automatically wins. We it's childish. It's infantile it's it makes no sense it's insane i can't do it it, it just taxes my brain too much i have to leave <laughs> it's like and let me tell you that the point that taxed me wasn't yamamoto wasn't aizen i was taxed at ukiora this is long past that yeah <laughs> that's his thing that's what he does he resurrects like <sighs> is there theory that he could have come back if they continued but it never happened I just, I can't do it. Too much. It, it drains me yeah. out of all, not only investment, but just my ability to, like, tolerate. <laughs> so I just like, would be super hype if it came back as an anime. I would I would. I really would be okay it. if they went the direction of, because didn't they reboot, I mean, the, the Hunter x Hunter I saw was the newest it's one, but like didn't they reboot it? Didn't they yeah. reboot it or whatever? Well, I don't it, think it got like the Blu-ray treatment. They got yeah. the animation update. Okay, okay. So what I would be cool with is if they rebooted it, but not like Berserk rebuted it. <laughs> but no, you say controversial things all the time. What do you mean? Don't don't mention the Berserk, Berserk man. Please, God, I'm the hugest Berserk fan there is. Please l never bring it up. Let, let it, it die, go. huh? Let it go. Well, anyways, but it, it would be nice if they would bring it back from step one. If and, they updated it and yeah. ran all the way through. If they yeah. Dragon Ball Kai it. Yeah, or Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't mind a condensed version. I could. Uh, I could take either. Yeah, one of take those. out all the filler. No yeah. filler from the original anime, and all focused on what Kite to, uh, Kite made. It'd right. still be disappointing because it, the ending was rushed. But you, I mean, you get well, to see a lot of cool stuff. But, but reboot, what they could, could do get Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood what, get an actual ending. But, well, and what they could do is is like let him make the ending he wanted for the manga on the anime. There's a lot of stuff that, like, bruh, we waited, we waited 
years to see his final Bankai. He gets it. He gets to talk to the Soul King one-on-one. He gets to acquire his Quincy powers. He has dual You're talking about Ichigo? Yeah. yeah, no. He goes to unleash I didn't his read Bankai, the manga. and the main villain says, I broke it in the past, so now it doesn't work in the present, and I want to kill you in the future. That literally happens. Wow. They won by by luck. That's how he was defeated. Yeah, by by his son. Mm. It was uh, who are you and Ichigo? They did like a last minute thing. It okay. was it was the equivalent of a nuke, like Dane says. Uryu has a nuke. He throws it. Ichigo he he hits it. It blows up. Some something like that along those lines. It was. I can't. I... It was pure luck. Like he never mentioned having this thing ever. Like Uryu <laughs> has all these gadgets. He never mentions having this one thing. Deuce ex machina. I can't. I'm telling you, they could fix everything with an anime reboot. My brain is melting. I can't do it. It was, a, it was a lot of stuff that made You don't sense. have to do it, but me and Devante want to. I would love it to come back. They had some of the best uh J-Rock We won't make songs, you watch that. Uh, the best endings. Uh, a lot of character themes were great. Uh, you get to see character development from a lot of people. There All I got to say is, is that if they do do it and they bring it back and they will eventually dub it, they better bring back the... Uh, guy who played as uh, the uh, Asian Black Power Ranger to do his voice again. Chag is a power up. You never get yeah. to see it. Oh, well, first off, wait, the original supporting crew, who cares about any of those? Yeah. <laughs> like or he, he made Chad. <laughs> he gets a power up. He, he fights some super powerful. That's character. the arc that I hate is when, uh, when Ichigo loses his powers after the Aizen arc and he's teamed up with Chad. For the third time. Yeah, when he's teamed up with Chad, that's that's the no, part the where I though, started second. hating it. Look, Shonen, it was depressing. Shonen is like cancer to me. <laughs> well, Ichigo was being like a little emo kid crying because he lost like all of his powers. Chad, though, man, Chad was cool. He punched somebody and put the face of Diablo into a mountain. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Was like about Chad, right? Chad Chad's cool. was one of the most interesting things ever because he's he's like. A mix of like Japan and the Mexican theme that seems to be so deeply innately tied to the Hollows. Yeah, because you know they they obviously their names are Hispanic. And yeah, are in car. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Spada so, and all those. I'm like, so so we have we have a Quincy in the group. Resurrection. But before Ichigo was a Hollow. Yeah. Chad was the closest thing we had. Yeah. And it was cool. Yeah. And then Ichigo took everyone else's role anyway. I just I can't. Bleach Bleach hurt me. Yeah. Bleach was good. I, I liked it. No matter how much I enjoy everything up until Soul Society arc, because that's me. Man, I, I think it should. Be Devonte, Soul you're making arc. me want to rewatch the anime now. No, you I don't it. watch Soul wait, Society arc. Wait, you hate no, Soul no, no, Society no, no. arc? Yeah, it's boring. It's basically <laughs> that was the best arc. <laughs> it's basically damsel in distress, and uh, I like it when when he fights Zimpachi. Yeah, that was dope. Yeah, yeah that's but anything with Zimpachi is. The best. Yeah, right? He's the best character. You don't know what's crazy? There was one captain. It was like the female captain of the medical squad. Yeah. She's like, uh, Kimpachi Zaraki was my name. It's a title. You don't have a name. And she trains him effectively to unlock his Bankai. Yeah, she was the previous Kimpachi. Kimpachi is the title. She's standing on a mountain of bodies or whatever. And she gets taken out off panel. And you see her like a couple chapters later. She's in a bed. And right. She just gets kidnapped. You never see her again. Listen, listen. If you don't stop warping some of the most powerful <laughs> characters in the series, I don't, I just, I you got to end the you got to end the Man, series somehow. That, look, 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 look! I can't hey, tolerate it. You know it. what? You know what? Um, um, shonen. That I mean, I would consider it a shonen. That yeah, it escalated like all the others did, but not to the same severity. Yu Yu Hakusho. Mm, no. Yu Yu Hakusho got pretty bad. I mean. It did. Yeah, like, but it wasn't like they were destroying worlds and stuff. They were about to destroy the demon realm. He was <laughs> a street fighter, Tim. Yeah, he started off with Think the ability about to what punch. He ended at the end. Well, yeah. you found out that he was part demon. Yeah, he was already dead by then. I'm going to point yeah. that out to you. That the part demon got hit by a bus and died. Yeah. Please, can we just leave Shonen? I just, I can't do it anymore. I have my love for Yu Yu Hakusho. Look, look, look. The only thing... Like are, his love for Bleach. I know, I respect oh, I it. One Piece. I love all of them. I've watched uh, all of them. One but, Piece is like one of those Shonens where 
No, they lose. They need to. They need to end. It's not about. They lose a lot. Yeah, it's not well, about winning it's, it's, or it's losing. It's a different. It's a different thing. It's 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 transcendent to just like a usual shonen. It's, it's a just journey. It's a literal journey. Like it's not just. It's who, Hunter, who gets Hunter more would have been if it didn't stop. Yeah, but it's not like who the next boss being stronger than the well, next no, one. It's not so much that with but, this but, one. But Hunter X Hunter had a chance to step away from that. And then it decided not to because yeah. Chimera and Arc, which is like I, said, I hated it. Yeah, you uh, loved what? it. I hated it. Yeah, yeah, right. Listen Podcast to over. <laughs> I stopped Podcast watching the over. anime during that arc. Whatever, Tim. You you strange individual. But listen, <laughs> greatest shonen anime arc of all well, time. Tied. He doesn't like. I'm sorry. Okay, so regardless, I'm getting, Hunter x Hunter. I'm getting daggers over here. Hunter Jeez. x Hunter is guilty of the same thing eventually because we, we we get there post dealing with the Zapata family and going to the Dark Continent because we know that Miram right when when we set the groundwork for what Miram was and potentially could have been was representative of a peak within Hunter x Hunter. He's kind of like the you know Yamamoto and uh, the the nuke of right. Hunter x Hunter because his growth potential was infinite. The whole reason why they were even able to take him out is because literally someone brought a nuke to deal with him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they explained that so weird too. Yeah. The uh, death flower. Uh, they brought a nuke to deal with him, and then secondly, he was literally just getting started. He was literally just coming out the gate. Wow. And he took out the strongest person in their society, <laughs> Netero. <laughs> By the way, Netero was also just baller as all. Oh, Look, man, had one arm. One leg. leg. It was still going at it. but And he was also, by the way, Netero couldn't even hurt Murum, regardless. He literally had to have hit Murum during that fight 10,000 times. All that smacking him around the underground pillars. But he already knew he was going to lose. Yeah, from the very beginning. I'm just like, I, I appreciate you going for the fight, Netero. Was but, that the the lead Chimera Ant thing? Yeah, he's Chimera King. Chimera Ant King is uh, Miram. I don't know. I just remember the fight scene with him and Miram. Yeah, Netero and Miram. This guy. Yeah. You remember Netero? Netero was the one who played ball with Gon and almost decided to kill Gon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they they played the game of ball, and he's just like, yeah. for a second, I think I'm just going to murder this kid. Yep. And then uh, he's like, we're good. I didn't like how <laughs> Gon was during that arc. I don't like Gon mean? at all. <laughs> it's like his personality did like a total 180 no, during that no. arc. That's always been Gon's personality. That's the problem with Gon, is that Gon is a really selfish character. What, the 2000... In 11, that's what it was. It was a 2011 adaptation. Yeah. What it does is Kite was super essential, and they showed him last. Yeah. Kite should have been in the first episode. Yeah. He was always with Gon as a child. Child. You don't get that in this newer adaptation. They just. Wait, he was always with. Okay, so, like, the way that they do the story as it expands out is that they kind of, like, information is missing. Yeah. Relevant information. It doesn't even matter. For Gon's character, it doesn't matter Gon's, if he did knew. Gon characters just did he just forget that Kite was always there or something? No, no, no. That's no. what they, they surmised in the anime. But like, it but it doesn't matter because Gon's yeah. reaction would have been the same regardless. Because when Gon makes a friend, you become a part of Gon's friend circle. Right. And if you're a part of Gon's friend circle, you can do anything. Yeah. Gon does not care. Yeah. Like for instance, when they were training with the serial killer. You know it's a I, it's a more severe version of how Goku is. Yes, yes, the point. Yeah. They they went and trained with the serial killer and because they considered the serial killers to be helping them in their training, Gon yeah. takes no offense to what that guy is or used to be. Same yeah. thing when they were doing the trials originally. Remember that guy who literally only joins the trials to kill people, murder people during the trials? Yeah, he's one of my favorite characters. Yeah, he never passes. He never and when Gon meets other people like them, he finds their character repulsive. Right, but if you're a friend of Gon, if Gon considers he doesn't you a friend, see it that way. He doesn't care. Yeah. So Gon has always been deeply selfish in this way. So even if he knew Kite from birth to yeah. now, as long as Gon put Kite in that friend circle, you got the same response he gave toward Netero Pedro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Pedro was going to get that response regardless because that's how Gon is. Right. You see it later on throughout the series as it goes on. He's always been locked in this mode yeah. that either you are a friend and he retreats you with this incredible degree of severity as far as his f- friendship towards you and what he'll do for you. Right. Or you don't matter to Gun at all and you can go die. It doesn't matter. Gun is not yeah. affected by it. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's always been my problem with Gon is that he's like a lunatic in that way. <laughs> like he, he has no self awareness at all. So that's that's I, I've never liked Gon as a character. And I'm actually very happy with how it all played out during the Chimera arc because Gon lost that fight. Yeah. To Neto Rapido. Because Neto yeah. goal wasn't to beat Gon. No. Even if Neto Rapido could beat Gon, that wasn't the goal. It was to stop whatever Gon could have been going up against Miram. Right. And so Neto Rapido came out with a win there. Yeah. Along with saving, you know, uh, Kamui? Kamui? I don't remember most of their names. You remember the, the girl, Mir- uh, Miram's love interest, Kamui? I think her name yeah. was. Yeah, you got it. All right, yeah. So uh, th- that arc was spectacular for the. St- that was weird too. Yeah, but it is what it is. I'm just saying. Fucking Japan. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you have to say. Yeah. Uh, I, and and with with Japan, that's why I I'm I'm very curious to see if they really do decide to do a comeback to Bleach because super, they've they've mistreated Bleach hype. for a while. Look, all I gotta say Super about the, all I have to say about it is that Shonen, including Bleach, there comes a point where their escalation removes it's too much. It, yes, and I think that the thing that they need to learn to do is in the story. I don't think they like, know how. It's just in the story. You can't keep going forever. Your story has to come to an end. One Piece will never end. Yes, it will. It's almost when the guy done. dies. It's almost done. It's yeah. literally almost, he's almost reached his goal. He yeah. has one more island to go to. And then he'll find out that that's not the true island. And he'll have to no, keep going. No, no, it, no, 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 no. It, it, it doesn't, no, no, no. It doesn't actually matter. It, whatever one piece is. It's the journey, not the destination no, anyways. No, it, well, you, you could oh, say that. that. I know, that. right? No, but look. <laughs> no, no, no. Because regardless this of, guy. regardless <laughs> of, <laughs> regardless of getting one piece, it doesn't solve the core issue of the story of one piece. Yeah. Which is the world government and the celestial dragons. That's what this arc is doing now. You, you think this is going to be the resolution to that? I don't think Way it's no. the resolution of it. I it's, think it's the resolution of going towards One Piece. No. It's it's the world government, the revolutionary army, and Luffy. And right now you have Luffy who has his fleet. But the thing that Luffy is doing that you don't realize in the anime is he's capturing the pirate spirit of all these pirates that he's encountering. Like uh, Katakuri, the guy that he fought um, for Big Mom. That was a big fight. He almost lost. It, it did a lot of damage. But he can count on Katakuri to come to his aid if he needs. He's literally becoming a pirate king yeah. by interacting with all the pirates. Naruto. The yeah. It's how Naruto became Hokage. So you have the new pirate king, his father, the leader of the revolution, and the world government. On this island that's free from everything, which is Wayno. And that's the new war. Isn't that where uh, uh, Luffy's been learning to be like a samurai or whatever? That's what they've been showing. He's He's been in disguise because he's there to effectively take down a Yonko Kaido. Okay. Into a dragon. Yeah, but, but like, he's not strong enough yet. So, and I I'm quite. A, I'm no, I'm no, no, no. I'm a, a couple of hundred episodes behind. Look, he's never going to get strong enough. If, if One Piece is written well, Luffy will never become strong enough to take out Kaido. Kaido will get taken out by a mechanic. That's the thing. Yeah, and we see that in the new movie, the Stampede movie. It was a a six on no, I think it was six or eight. It was six. It was six on one for the main villain. And that's effectively what's going to happen with Kaido. Yeah, so something, because we know that, like, even Big Mom... Because you have to tag team them. Yeah, because even with, like, when Big Mom and Kaido fought, that fight was worthless, even though their powers don't interact. Yeah. Like, because Big Mom's abilities affect your soul. Yeah. So you would think that she would have some offensive ability going up against Kaido, and Kaido's absolute defense is purely physical. So Big Mom will never hurt him in any other way but using her fruit, Mm -hmm. and they both walk out of that fight unscathed yeah so we sit there and i'm like if this interaction doesn't reveal a vulnerability in kaido then there's nothing that luffy and the one piece crew can do as far as power scaling that will ever take kaido out i expect kaido to get like taken out by like one of the secrets revealed from the rocks you know that nico robin is researching something has to come from out of left field to deal with kaido yeah right we can resolve all the problems kaido causes but getting rid of him has to be a plot point. Not Luffy not, actually not a beating fight. him. Yeah, yeah. If Luffy beats Kaido, if Luffy unlocks gear seventh and gains the power to suddenly beat down and 
beat Kaido in that way, like he beat uh, Dolph Flamingo, if Luki's Parmesia awakens, then we've crossed the Shonen line, and I also once again abandon One Piece because I, I can't do it. It's it's ridiculous. That's effectively what Kaido <laughs> is. He's a plot point to awaken Luffy's devil fruit because um, Katakuri and Doflamingo are the only two people we know who have awoken devil fruits, and they both uh, speak of the goo from gold. The dude from gold, <laughs> One Piece gold. That whatever that guy's name is, he I also has an awakened awakened devil fruit. But yeah, they both speak of you have to be near death experience to finally awaken your devil fruit. But even if he does, that doesn't necessarily mean he's going to beat him. Ky- Kaido... I don't know. Oh, no, no, we yeah. don't know exactly what type of awakening he's going to have. Right. Kaido's, Kaido's powers are no different from OG Broly. The Arthur came out and gave us a, a simple rule for Broly. Broly is invincible. Okay. You can beat Broly in a fight. You can be a better fight than Broly. You might even have more power than Broly, but you'll never kill Broly. Right. Because that's the lore that you've given us. Yeah, he's unkillable. Right. So even when they put Broly into the sun, they literally like Kamehameha him into the sun. The only reason why Broly... Well, ha- Toriyama didn't make him. But you know, I get, you get what I'm saying, though. But the only reason why Broly isn't a... Uh, no, I, just, I just wanted to clarify. Yeah. Toriyama did not create Broly. Tim he was, says so much hurtful stuff. <laughs> I'm just saying, Toriyama did not create him. He was from the special movies that had nothing to do with Toriyama. But but that's that's it's going to the shonen point. I know. I'm just saying. But, but I can, I can go I'm with, just pointing out facts. I can do the same Handle thing. Handle the facts. No, I can do the same thing with the androids. Yeah. I can literally do the same thing with yeah. the androids. Because literally the androids never had to lose Well, Toriyama anyone. made uh, Broly better. Yes. But my point being is that's true. But the androids work the same way. He's the master. Toriyama gave us hardcore rules for the androids. Yeah. Infinite energy. Yeah. Okay. So, 17 has the ability to make a shield. Yep. 18 specializes in blast. Yeah. Okay, it will also beating the crap out of Vegeta. Yes. But beyond those two superpowers, the way that the androids beat everyone in DBZ, including Cell himself, is that 17 blows up the planet. I'm sorry, 18 blows up the planet and 17 shields them. Yeah. It, within the rules of your own universe, you can't beat them. Yeah. Because there's nothing that stops them from doing this. You want to get into a beam battle with an android, they win. Yeah. You will run out of energy. If you do yeah. sales, solar Kamehameha versus Gohan, super Kamehameha. So that's why they had Cell consume them. Because they needed to make a villain that got out of that loop, as well as the editor was pressuring uh, Toriyama to make a more intimidating villain than two teenagers. Yeah. But <laughs> regardless. I like them better. Yes. I, I, the androids are my favorite DBZ villains. Yeah. But, but now, me. but now, uh, 17's, you know, yeah. one of the best. Well, that's DB, DBZ. DBS uh, allies. <laughs> MVP, right? Yeah. But, um, but that's my whole point with Shonen, is that if you set out these rules, unless you immediately reveal the caveat, right? If you say that this person has never been beaten, okay? That's fine. Because never been beaten doesn't mean they can't be defeated. Right. Okay? But the rules for Kaido is that he's never been hurt. Right. There's no caveat there. <laughs> and then you the and then you reinforce the point by letting him fight Big Mom, yeah. who specializes in damaging you in a non corporeal way, and he still walks out unscathed. You can't beat him. You're not fighting this guy. Luffy, a, a perfect example of it is that and to the Arthur's credit, Luffy gets to try to attack him when he's drunk, and Kaido yeah. just slaps him into non existence <laughs> from Gear Four. Yeah, right. Which is the strongest gear he has. So when you set out those rules, you keep to those rules or you ruin your show for me or you ruin your anime or manga but for me. But doesn't the author for One Piece, isn't he better about that than most of the other shonen writers? That is true. Yeah. And he hasn't broken it. Yeah. And the moment he does, I leave. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, f- I feel like he's one of the ones that holds more true to his rules yeah, than, than I, the others. I would hope so. because And I, I'm sure he's not pressured as much as, say, Toriyama was, was with the Android. The time. Because... No one messes with the writer of One Piece because they know he's got the formula down. He's making them bukus of money. Why Why complain? Jump down the guy's throat. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, like, even one of the newest and most popular ones are doing the same thing. Um, My Hero Academia is, like, approaching the same level for me. So I've actually leaned off of it despite how much I loved it in the beginning because Deku's power set 
just has infinite potential at this point that he's accessing all the other. This <laughs> shit threw me for a loop. Right, I'm just I'm sitting there and I'm just oh, like, oh, 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 oh. I'm not spoiling it for you. I'm not going to tell you what his power set is. My point being is, is that like Deku has the potential to be unreasonably strong, yeah. stronger than one for all. I'm not surprised. What am I supposed well, to do? Well, at with the that? beginning, the first episode, they say his older self says in the anime, and I'm sure it's the same in the manga, how he becomes the greatest hero. Which is the fine. The greatest hero. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa. But, which is fine. Because he becomes greater than his role model. But remember how I said that that statement has wiggle room? Yeah. Like being unbeatable or being the greatest hero or being the Hokage, it has wiggle room as right. to how you can get there. This whole series <laughs> could be him bleeding out. Remembering how he became the, the greatest, greatest hero. hero, it could be his final sacrifice at the very end. Yeah. There's no way of knowing how that plays out. That's acceptable. But now we know for a fact because of the way they're showing how Deku's powers are coming into being that he became the greatest hero because he is legitimately the most powerful being on earth. I kind of figure that would happen. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna lose because he's immature. Yeah, sure. He has his character flaws, but maybe they'll get fixed. You know, my point being is, do you think that it'll this is get the worst a, part of Shonen for do me? You th- do you think they'll go the route of? Naruto with Naruto Shadupidim, where it eventually they changed the name of the Shadupidim. <laughs> How do you properly say it? She put in Shadupidim. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. Nah, what? I heard. Um, I heard the author. He originally wanted to do like. You can actually hear my wife laughing. Thirty or on so mics. volumes, but. He was like, I can keep going, so he's going to keep going. No, well, like, what, what I'm saying is... is let it end. Well, Demon what I'm Slayer. saying is, uh, you know, how they did the time jump. Do you think they'll eventually have it to where it's not... Where they're not in school anymore? Uh, it's going year by year right now. Yeah, like so it's almost to that season. point. So if they do do a time skip, it'll probably be after a big event. Yeah, but like, I'm, I would think... Because if they're out of skip. the school, then they need to change the title of the series. Yeah, they're still in school. Right? Well, no, there's no way in the world he's going to become the greatest hero while at school. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So it needs to go that progression. Yeah. It needs to change the name of the title. Yeah, there's probably going to be a time skip or some type of advancement like that. Yeah. I mean, it's still always going to be My Hero Academia, though. That's just the title. Yeah. And even if he leaves, he's still going to be related to the school. He yeah. can come back just like All Might did as a teacher. They could do My Hero Academia plus. Yeah, plus yeah. Ultra. Plus Ultra. <laughs> but anyway, my point being is... All shonen, all shonen have done this to me, and I can't take it anymore. My last dying One hope, Piece hasn't done it yet. Not yet, yes. My last so dying, you have hope. Yes, I, let me finish. My last dying <laughs> hope, my last dying hope is One Piece and Demon Slayer. Those are the two things that are keeping me going. If those fail me, I will not Demon do Slayer shonen. so far does seem like it's very different from the other shonens when it comes to like how powerful the next villain is and all this and oh, that. Yeah. It's almost over. Yeah. And it's in the ending arc. It's going to the end. The manga is? Yes. It is a shonen that is going to end. I'm and how much longer is it? Uh, com- uh, like how much is left of the anime? Maybe like a uh, hundred episodes worth, maybe. Uh, mm, I wouldn't say that. that is not like 50. Right. Yeah. You could probably, you, you probably wrap probably it up in 60. Out of yeah. It. You could probably wrap it up in two seasons. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's reasonable. Yeah. They don't need to, though. They don't need to. I feel like if they continue, like they try to do another season, it won't be as good. They're going to do another season. You can't touch it's that a huge, hype of that first it's season. It's a huge... Uh, hey, hey, sometimes sequels are Anime amazing. now. It's, it's just like uh, One Punch Man. Yeah, but... Well, it, that's because they went to a It's different a different animation. company taking care of it yeah, now, though. Exactly. It's, it's, no, I'm, no, I mean, it's not the same company as the company that took care of One Punch Man. Uh, they're not going to let go of Demon Slayer, the uh, the company that's working on it. So you think you foldable is going to stay with it? Yeah, they're work already working on that movie, so they're they obviously... also got Fate stuff in the pipeline too. Well, they always got Fate stuff in the pipeline. That is true. That's their Google like table is tied to freaking uh Fate. Yeah, so they're hard. just making their money off of Fate, so that way they can keep working on Demon Slayer. I wouldn't let the title go, but you never know. Japanese cult. I, I can't imagine them letting it go. Because did, already, did, if, if they weren't passionate about it, they wouldn't have already had a movie planned. That's just hype. Well, you that's say, just well, hype. No, no, you say no. that, but remember Attack they, on Titan? With the three here hiatus? Yeah. With Despite all the hype that the original that Attack on Titan That studio clearly already knew that... Th- that was this, a fumble, though. 
a hard yeah movie. well they obviously already knew that this was going to be a hit and so that's why they were already working on a movie after episode 15 they were like we can keep going yeah because we because they were make they were making money let's do a movie yeah yeah so look i, I have those are my last two hopes i i know that i'm make maybe a specific person but like the 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 shonen genre just it it, it, it is it, what it is. Well, it's, at least it, at least one piece is starting to see uh, the light at the end of the tunnel for you. So you 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 have hope that you'll you'll live long enough for yeah, it to finish. That, that we've gone over a thousand chapters. Yeah, <laughs> and the story ends. You don't without... have to be the kid that unfortunately got told the ending because he was dying of cancer. Yeah. So at least you know there is an ending. Man, can't wait to introduce one piece to my kids. And that's going to be... Here's 100 volumes of Pirate King. Yeah, just like <laughs> throw it down on their, their table or your be- their bed or something. Enjoy. like. Yeah. yeah. You have to read it all. Uh, and I'm going to give you questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pop This place. is homework. <laughs> Name all the members of CP9. I, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you must, you must live, live up to my otaku name. <laughs> yeah, one, one piece is... Is a staple. My girlfriend didn't like One Piece. I got her into One Piece. Uh, I'm trying to remember the last, um, the one that I was on. It was one of those island arcs where it was like all like snow, and it was this one of the Vegapunk. Yeah, Vegapunk. Yeah, yeah. That's the arc that I was wrapping up on. That's the last time I watched it. That's a dope arc. Yeah, it was really good. I just. It's so much content all at once. When I was trying to catch up, I stopped watching it. That island within itself is just great. Oh yeah, I I, I loved everything about it. I mean, it was a great arc, but just one of those things you kind of get. I get burnt out on watching the same thing when when you're trying to <laughs> burn up. through it. Yeah. yeah. No, I feel you, Tim. But so I, I I go through seasons when it comes to One Piece where I'll watch like two hundred plus episodes and I'll take a break. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. It's mentally exhausting. There's no way anyone can actually run it straight Just like it's been very mentally exhausting watching The Arrow and The Flash for for (laughs) Crisis. Yeah, but that's that's because it's bad writing. Yes. You haven't watched nearly 200 episodes. (laughs) (sighs) I'm telling you, The Flash, this this season with Cicada, having to watch his daughter being the most annoying character is just excruciating. Whoa, hold up a second. Let me explain something to you about The Flash. Did you watch season three? Yes, I've okay. seen. So you watch seen season, it all. You watch season three, right? Then yeah. guess what? You've also watched season four and five. Yeah, but his daughter is really annoying. I know, but season three is season four and five. With I understand the that. Of an annoying character. I understand <laughs> that, but she makes it worse. She keeps like like Cussler said. She keeps messing up, and she doesn't listen to her dad, and it's a very annoying trope. But that's, you can't keep doing it every but, episode. But, but there's one character like that in every season of <sighs> The Flash. I know. It's so dumb. Vibe I'm done like with that it. for one season. Uh, who was the one in season That's one? one thing you can't say Ryan was about. Like that too. Yeah, right? yeah, It's one thing you can't say about shonens. Shonens don't have this stupid uh, American yeah. TV trope garbage. That is true. Yes. They are all very different. So yes. I, I burn out at different points. Yes. But at the same time. There it is. There, the, uh, there's a lot of American TV shows that I have loved that I'm starting to get tired of, and one of them, and you might not agree with me, but it's Superstore. The season is very disappointing. I don't watch Superstore. I thought you did. So. No, yeah. That's Matt. Matt. It's well, Matt. if Matt was here, he <laughs> might agree with me. This because guy's getting mad at me. I don't even watch the show. <laughs> Jesus, I'm sorry. I forgot that you're you're too weeb for Superstore. I watch a lot of anime. I don't. I don't really watch American television anymore. I, I, like I said, I've been spoiled by K dramas and, and Asian television. They, they America, what's wrong with better. you? They, it's always something happening. There's always new revelations. There's a lot of There's originality mystery. with all of that. Which uh, our original topic for the last. I, I think we've been on this topic for like an hour because <laughs> we got distracted by the beauty of showing an anime. We're yeah. gonna have to totally change the title for the topic. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's gonna stay. I'm I'm gonna get people to 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 come in with my my clickbait thumbnail where it says <laughs> it, Bleach having a uh, having a comeback question mark. <laughs> Hey, hey, they don't look, even know look, what they're walking look, look, into. <laughs> look, they may have clicked it because it's bait, but they stayed for actual content. Yes. Because we've just covered it. I'm being stuff. honest with y'all. I want y'all to come in for the real content, but I have to draw you in somehow. And that is the most clickbaity of clickbait anime titles. Yes. 
The, actually, the most, like, whenever you click on anime, the things that pop up the most is top 10 anime of all time, top 10 anime no, of no, 2019. No, that's fine, but I'm telling you right now that if there is one thing that will make every anime fan pretty much click it, it's like Hunter x Hunter continues. Yes. <laughs> the new Hunter uh, x Hunter season. Bleach, Bleach is coming back. How right. many times have I clicked on yeah. that video? Yeah. I, 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 I mean, ramble about I'm, gone for no reason. I'm like that with my MCU stuff. <laughs> that happens to me. There's a couple of guys that I subscribe to, and they they ramble on about the same thing like three times out of the week. <sighs> and I'm hoping I find out information through the rambling. You're right, but we we, we provide you with at least topical. Yes. <laughs> Topical information. Um, we covered the bleach topic, and we talked about the genre bleach comes from. And uh, just to let y'all know, I was going to make it a topic, but um, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to tell you the little uh, bit that apparently the Okinawa Gonzo is Gonzo. Uh, y'all can research that. It was the uh, Gonzo studio that worked on a lot of their CGI uh, animation. <laughs> you could tell the reason why it left. I have to give you a laugh. I know you were waiting on it. Dude, he's been preparing this for hours. No, I haven't. Even. Dude, no. This, it's, the this, information just came out today. This pun has been stewing. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> he's wanted to do it for so long. <laughs> Oh, uh, they're so mean oh to me. My God. Uh, that's the equivalent of a Naruto believe it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me that. You know how much Wait I hate that catchphrase. For it. Wait the entire episode for it. It has to be said. Uh, well, you know, I just made it a little quick thing. I didn't even make it into a topic. So if you want to know about it, look it up. There, uh, There is plenty of uh, articles about it. Crunchyroll, it's on their, their top page. So check that out. Uh, but uh, we're going to uh, wrap up. We appreciate you watching. Appreciate you listening. We appreciate you commenting. We appreciate you watching this video. Thank you for letting us get to the root of our geek culture with you.